Hello, uh, my name is Jacob Schaffelberg. I'm from Port Williams, Nova Scotia, and I'm 21 years old. I mean, let's start at the beginning. I know we didn't get a chance to talk last time you came in last January. Just just talk about your, your memories of coming into that first camp last year and what that was like for you. Uh, I was nervous, for sure, being in my first uh, national, like men's national team camp um, and just second time in general with Canada. Uh, being from Nova Scotia, I feel like I got, got some stuff to prove and, and hopefully help out other guys coming up from Nova Scotia looking to, to play on the national team. But it uh, felt good to go there. And take me back even further, just, just to your very first memories of falling in love with the beautiful game. I'm sure you played it as a young kid, but how did you first fall in love with this game? Um, my dad got me in it pretty early because uh, I have an older sister and older brother, and they both played growing up, so I had really no other option but falling into it, and uh, I could play since I can remember. So. Love that. And just, just talk about coming through the ranks a bit, because as you mentioned, I'm sure it was different coming out of Nova Scotia. Talk about your progression into organized club football and ultimately making it to Toronto FC and the national team. Yeah, so I started off with uh, Valley United. Uh, we never won anything. Just uh, It was usually just a few guys that could play and then a bunch of hockey guys. And then in grade uh, nine, I left to go to a prep school in Boston called uh, Berkshire School. Um, went there till halfway through my grade 12 year where TFC came in and uh, I chose playing soccer over going to a university uh, and I'm happy about that so it's been good ever since. I think I'm right I'm saying you're the first Nova Scotian in the national team since Ante Jazik played his last game in 2012. Uh, and, yeah I'm pretty sure. An, an eight yeah. year gap just just talk about being the first guy in eight years from your province to play and you know what that means to your, your region back home. Uh, it feels good it feels good to like uh, put him on a map since he's been here uh, I guess and like I said earlier I just want to help out other guys coming up or whoever's coming up from Nova Scotia to make it make it more known that there's there are a few players that are coming up so yeah and we spoke about it a bit off camera but the Halifax Wanderers are now in, in basically your hometown what's it been like having pro soccer come to Halifax and I guess for you as a professional to see that that kind of activity going on back home now I think it's uh, it's amazing for all the young guys back home uh, boys and girls uh, for me when I was growing up I used to try to get like signatures from the Axemen, so like the university close to me. So now for all those guys uh, to have uh, professional guys to look up to is, is amazing for the province and for soccer there. So you're here with the national team. You spoke about kind of adapting to that first camp. Where do you get a sense this team is at now as we kind of square up to a, a big qualifying campaign coming up? I feel like we're doing well. Um, certainly there's like a lot of new guys in here. Um, I'm new as well, so it's been, it's been good for all of us to learn the tactics again and, and get into the flow of it. And uh, over the last few days, it's been really starting to click, so it, it's, it's looking good for us for sure. And just talk about your progress at Toronto FC. I know you've had some, some good results breaking into the first team. What's it been like kind of getting a real taste of professional action and, I guess, first team MLS level in, in, in your life? Uh, it, was, it was an amazing experience, uh, especially my first year when I had a good run of games. Um, just, just being able to play in front of a, a lot of fans was a really cool experience at the top level. Um, and, it's, and it's just an experience, experiences I'll never forget and I look forward to, to more. And speaking of experiences, as, as we said, we're, we're chasing that Qatar 2022 dream. You're a young guy just trying to break into this team, but what would it mean to you to maybe put on a shirt and maybe play in a competitive match for Canada as we journey towards the World Cup? Uh, it'd be amazing. Uh, certainly I'm gonna work hard, work hard to hopefully get back here with the, with the team. Um, and that would just be a crazy experience to, to get on the field with whoever uh, to represent our, our nation.